All right, let's go ahead and check the Earth, though. I want to see what's going on with the ionosphere up in the troposphere. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on the troposphere, the stratosphere, way up in the sky, and see what's going on with the polar vortex winds. Yeah, that's what, that's what that, you know, it does look like a giant computer chip. And it could be. It could be using the Earth's magnetic field. You know, we wonder why these heating event is going on over the Antarctic. So let's see if this thing's going to clear up or is it going to intensify. So it's almost like there's a, a giant cyclone over Antarctica heating above antarctica man when's the where'd the cold air go it's like they blew a park look we got a event right there north of new zealand actually a heating event let me just kind of look so it's actually colder up here at the north in the Antar in the arctic it's minus 71.6 in the antarctic it's minus 24 so we're talking, you know, 50 degrees difference. Let me go ahead and fast forward this. You know, they're every time they launch these satellites up, they're blowing a hole. Not always, but they, they can blow a hole into the ozone. And then it takes a long time for it to heal. So anyway, so the heating event continues. And we're getting actually some more heating events right there off the coast of Australia. Let me put it back on now. So look at that. So there was no heating event, but as here in the next few days, these events are gonna be uh, getting a little weirder. So let's look at the winds. So look, even the polar vortex wind is real slow. This thing's gonna start, look, it's starting to creep up to the north. Look, we're starting to get the circulation so this polar vortex is getting ready to leave the Antarctic and it's going to come up to the north. And then that's when all hell breaks loose for winter time. But you can see there. Let me see what this looked like last year. Let's compare it. So look at last year. It was still pretty good size, still super high, strong. Let's go back to 2018 because I think, or 2017, I think that's when we had the same kind of wind anomaly at the equator. Yeah. It's still way bigger. So it's much, much smaller. Let me put it back on now. All right. So, yeah, man, there's some funky stuff going on with the ionosphere. The whole Earth is a plasma antenna right now. You know, with all the atmospheric heating and everything they're doing, woo, they're gridding it. They're making it ready for the smart grid, the 5G, and all that stuff. All right, let's go ahead and check the ocean wave heights. Take the grid off there, take that off. Let's see if we got any kind of mega waves. Guess where we got waves? Down in the Antarctic, 38 footers. Here goes a wave weapon over to the UK, 25 foot waves. Make sure we're on now, everything's all good there. Let's check out the sea surface temperatures. The ocean is cooling. The ocean is cooling, but how's the planet warming up if the ocean is cooling? Look, all the super hot water is almost, you know, gone from the Gulf of Mexico that's right where that storm is that's why it's even cooler there so it actually the whole ocean is cooling let's check out the anomalies where are they at whoa the heat anomaly is almost gone except for right on the coast look it's even starting to go down up in the Bering Sea so everything is cooling down even the heat anomalies so nothing like the mainstream tells you, you know, if you want to stop climate, you can't stop climate change. It always changes. That's part of the, uh, the way it is. You want to stop pollution? 
how about come over here to China and India and get them to slow the the weather bods down and quit uh, all the factories and crap stop the bunker fuel stop the airplanes whoa I've never seen this in the green so right there over Boston and that area you're in the green I've never seen it in the green so it's not off the chart but I just never seen that color before on here Wow, it's like they shut the chat off. Well, hopefully it's still going. It shows we're in the green. Here's our uh, bunker fuel ship lines. All these long straight lines. This is how you stop climate change or global warming. Stop these ships from running the bunker fuel. Should be running bunker fuel anyway. Look at this big old fat liner going down, you know, from the tip of South Africa up to the Sahara's tons of lines coming from you know Uruguay up all the way up into the UK that's how you stop global warming stop all the bunker fuel stop the the aerosols oh wow look at this mess of Sahara dust coming in it just don't stop man there's gonna be no dust left in the desert it's going to all be over here in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's check the PM 2.5s. I don't even know if we're still streaming because the chat shut down. All right, so the PM 2.5s are looking really good. We're uh, set for if you're near that storm. But yeah, we've really cleared up a lot here over the United States. Let's look at the PM 10s. These are all carcinogens. Uh, now it starts. Now you start getting the picture of the dust and where all the dust is. So according to this, you know, that system that they're going to try to form over Cuba is going to be all in this dust. It shouldn't form into anything, but we'll see what they do. We'll see if they enhance it. Let's just bring up the uh, radar real quick. And that's what we got to wake the masses so that we can rise, man. If we don't get people off the TV, off the propaganda, off the fake news, if we don't get them to look up into the sky to see the lies, we're never going to stop this. So keep on sharing. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your friends. Get the word out, man. If they want to know why the weather is weird, tell them to tune in. Anyway, guys, much love. We'll talk to you tomorrow night, God willing. We're going to play a song called Rise if I can hit the right scene. So anyway, guys, much love. I'll come join you in chat. I'll jump over on DLive, give away the treasure chest and all that good jazz. Much love out there. Here we go. Let's rock.